AI will take you wherever you wish, but it will not replace you as a driver. Hello my friends, Crypto Henry here. Today I'm going to tell you about an AI tool that is even better than ChatGPT. This tool has so many functionalities and is so much better trained than ChatGPT that it's, it's quite mind-blowing. And I'm recording this video because this tool have a very limited trial period. So you have like only like 2000 words uh, that you are allowed to create with a, with a trial, with a free trial. And after that, you need to pay 30 bucks, which is not too little. So in this video, I want to show you what this AI tool is capable of in terms of writing. And you will make your own decision, but after watching this video, you will have a very good idea of what this AI tool can do for you. And again, this AI will take you wherever you want, but it will not replace you as a driver. You are the big brains behind whatever the AI is writing. And you need to know about the topic, right? Because it's not 100% guaranteed that what the AI is going to write is absolutely accurate. So I'm really not afraid at all that, you know, everyone now is talking that AI is going to replace people and this and that, but no, like this AI can give you some interesting ideas of how to write, but it cannot replace you as a writer. The same if you are a programmer, if you are a developer, the AI can write a piece of code, but you need to know what the AI is writing about because otherwise, you will not be able to deploy that code or most likely that code we have will have some kind of bugs. So let's get straight into it. Okay, and the tool I'm talking about is Simplified AI. Simplified AI allows you to invite more people to the tool so you can have like a team of people in your company and it has tons of functionalities, cool functionalities. You have from um, image generating, by the way, you can check my other video where I rank all the image generating AIs, and you will understand which ones are the best, but you have image generating um, tools for marketing and social media, writing, and today we are going to talk about the writing side, copywriting, tons of different things. And actually, if you click, if you check your products, you have from graphic design, AI writing, video and animation, social media planner, you can like automate the AI to create social media posts, which is quite cool. But again, today we'll focus on the AI writing. So we have here the interface, and in this case, I'm going to click New Document. And you can pretty much ask the AI to write about anything. Let's say you have a blog and where you talk about dogs and mental health. So you could ask the AI to help you writing these blog posts or a letter or anything. But let's start by something like this. Why are dogs good for our mental health. Okay, and uh, let's run the command and see what Simplified is going to tell us. Dogs are good for our, our mental health because they can provide us with companionship, love, and support. They can also help us to reduce stress and anxiety and can boost our mood and self-esteem. Yeah, this is pretty cool, but it's kind of short, right? So I could ask um, Simplified to write more. Uh, so I could ask, uh, write uh, 300 words on why are dogs good for our mental health. And uh, it's pretty cool. Actually, she is saying, when we think about the benefits of owning a dog, we typically think about the, the physical benefits of having a furry friend to take a walk and jog with. However, dogs can provide us with much more than physical outlets. They can also improve our mental health in a variety of ways. And the AI continues to talk about uh, how the apps can help you. This is pretty cool, right? Uh, okay, let me now try to do something else. So let me ask now, uh, is Joe Biden a good president? Again, this is not like, there is no right or wrong answer. Uh, what I want to understand with this question is, is the AI going to be more biased or unbiased? So let's take a look. So the AI was, is being very politically correct. Joe Biden has been only president for a short time. It is hard to say if he is good or not. Some people think he's doing a good job, while others think he could be doing better. Time will tell if Joe Biden is a good president. Okay, okay. Fair enough. Let's ask her to write about something else. Write write um, 300 words on why Bitcoin is a good investment. Bitcoin is a good investment for a number of reasons. Above all else, it is a very efficient way to store and transfer value. Transactions are fast, cheap, and secure, which makes it a great way to send money around the world. And uh, he goes on talking about uh, the total that it will ever be is 21 million Bitcoins in existence. Yeah, pretty good, pretty good. But I could also write 
something like why is Bitcoin a bad investment? Because, okay, imagine I'm writing an article about Bitcoin and I don't want to be biased, right? But I only know good things about Bitcoin. So what about the bad things about being a good investment? So I can ask, uh, simplified to write 300 words on why is Bitcoin a bad investment? Bitcoin is a bad investment for a number of reasons. First, it is highly volatile and prone to price shocks. This makes it a risky investment. Second, there is no central authority and government backing Bitcoin. Yeah, this is quite cool. Now, if you are just writing a letter, let's say um, we are writing this text over here and you want to rephrase or you have your own text, you are writing an email, a blog post, and you want to rephrase things. You could use Simplified also to rephrase. Let's say this sentence here, finally, Bitcoin is often used for illegal activity, so there is a risk that your investment could be lost if the government cracks down on it. I want to rewrite this section. So I can click this button here, rewrite, and basically now Simplified is going to rewrite this sentence for me. Okay, while Bitcoin has a lot of potential, there is also a risk that your investment could be lost if the government cracks down on illegal activities that often use Bitcoin. Okay, so this is a good way to uh, rewrite our sentence. Okay, now imagine you are writing and it comes this word government crackdown and you want to develop on this topic. So you can actually highlight the topic that you want to develop and you can write a section about government crackdown. Okay, and now you have a section talking about the government crackdown. I'm not going to read it for you, uh, but we, it could go on and on, right? Let's do another quick experiment. Let's say I want to write one full page by starting with a very simple prompt about stoicism. So why is Stoicism, a good uh, philosophy. Now I could go and uh, edit this according to my uh, writing style, but um, we could continue, just continue uh, developing on this idea, right? And uh, let the AI write and write and write more and more about um, Stoicism. So I ask uh, the AI to continue to um, writing about the topic, and uh, she is basically going to develop more and more about uh, the same topic, which is quite cool, right? Okay, finally, Simplified also has some templates. So you could have this full blog writer, or you have also different templates for e-commerce. You can write a product review, so many different things, a product and brand, website copy, blogging, blog ideas and titles, a blog introduction, article writer, a before and after bridge. There are so many different templates that can help you to write better content, but of course it will not replace you as a writer because whatever the AI uh, writes, it's probably not exactly what you are looking for, but the AI can give you uh, basically additional ideas and uh, maybe some one or two cool some sentences that you can use. It can help you to uh, write your LinkedIn profile, YouTube video description. So there are tons of things. Express your feelings. What's this? Express your feelings. How are you feeling today? Super happy and motivated. Generate. <laughs> Let's see what's going to happen here. Okay. So I can have an AI helping me to express my feelings. Okay. And now she is going to give us here a few things okay that's that's cool you can do anything you set your mind to the sky is the limit go get them you're amazing today's a new day and you can make it amazing okay th that's cool that's cool maybe like you know can can kind of help you to generate some ideas for social media for your writing if you are a writer like me by the way you can check my latest book in the resources section of the of the video but if you are a writer if you like to write you don't need to feel threatened that AI is going to replace you as a writer. Again, I think these kind of AI tools can help you to be a better writer, but will it will never replace you as a driver of the car. It's just like you are driving a better quality car that can do more self-driving functionalities when compared to a car of 50 years ago, but you are still the one that is going to tell the car where to go. You still need to be seated in the driver's seat to make sure that the car goes where you want to go. And this is how I see these AI tools. It will take many, many, many years to eventually replace some jobs. I mean, the other day I was, I was thinking about, about one of the jobs that was replaced by AI. Like when I was a kid, I used to go to the post office and 
probably the same with you. I used to go to the post office. When, when you go to the post office 30 years ago, you'll have like 10 people working in the post office. Now, if you go to the post office, maybe you have like three people in your po local post office. And why is that? Well, because now letters are sorted using AI. Now, for the last actually like 15, 20 years, they go to a big machine that reads the address and is going to sort the letters to according to their postal code, according to their destination. So imagine before 30, 40 years ago, you used to have all these people sorting the letters manually. And then they slowly implement these technologies, these AIs that slowly replace people that used to do those jobs. So it's not like a thing that suddenly boom and everyone is unemployed. Uh, no, it doesn't work like that. Just like the other day I was talking about this in another video, used to have 200 years ago, uh, over 70% of the population used to work in agriculture. And agriculture was mechanized you have machines now right and five percent of the population now work in agriculture it doesn't mean that all these people that in, in the meantime left agriculture that are unemployed no it, it took like 200 years to happen and the same with ai replacing people in the workplace it will take many many years 20 30 40 years of course the most important for you to avoid eventually one day 20 years from now being replaced by and AI is keep yourself updated, please, and always learn. Because if you keep yourself updated, if you take courses, if you learn about these new technologies, you will always be at the edge and you will never be replaced by an AI. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any cool videos about the coolest technologies in the world. And as always, I'll see you next time.